Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you might know, I previously worked as a management consultant and one of the challenges I regularly faced was to keep track of all the information from clients that can come from documents, emails, chats or any kind of other sources. Rewind AI makes all of this much easier by allowing you to chat and get information about anything that happened in the past on your computer. Currently, the software is available on Apple computers and iPhones with a Windows version announced to come soon. In this video, I'll share with you why I think Rewind will be useful to you, how you can use it, and what the three products are that they're currently offering. Chances are, if your everyday activities include a certain degree of complexity, that you also need to look up various kinds of information from documents, notes, chats, or all kinds of other sources. Probably you also had the experience that you had some information in your head and you knew you heard it or saw it, but you're not exactly sure when. And then you need to go through various documents and spend a lot of time to find it. Another possible situation is that you made a commitment to your manager, but then you forget to write it down. The next day when the manager asks for your results, you don't have it and it's a very awkward situation. Me personally, I definitely faced each of these situations at least once and several others as well. Now in each of these situations, Rewind can be extremely useful to you because it remembers things that happened and it can also tell you what commitments you made. Rewind co-founder and CEO Dan Searocker actually says that their vision is to give humans perfect memory. After you install Rewind on your computer, it will capture everything that's going on, including audio. Later on, if you want to look up something, simply press shift command space and you'll be able to look up anything that happened on your computer. If you're not using keyboard shortcuts, you can of course also just open that search bar in a menu. Now you might say, wait a minute, that's just looking through your files. Didn't you talk earlier about an AI functionality? Yes, indeed, that's because that's a separate functionality. If you press shift, command, and then slash, a different menu will open that's called Ask Rewind. And there you can simply chat with your history and get information about all your past activities in a ChatGPT type interaction. Now I've been using Rewind for the past week. So let me show you some examples of what it can now do for me. So I booked a flight to London this Sunday and I forgot when exactly my departure time is. So I could now go to my emails or find the appropriate app and look the information up that way. But instead, I can also just use the keyboard shortcut to open Ask Rewind and ask the question directly in the chat. After a few seconds, you see it provides an answer. To be fully transparent, the answer it provides here is actually not correct. The first flight mentioned on Friday is a flight by my girlfriend where she flies from London to Switzerland. The other flight on Sunday is actually correct and here the time is also appropriate. Luckily, Rewind also shows me the sources. So it's very easy for me to not only trust the chat but actually also look for the original file where I can then see the trustworthy information. Now, looking up information is already great. But Rewind can actually do much more because it has all the capabilities of GPT-4 included. So for example, let me ask it to write an email to Elon Musk where I ask for an interview opportunity. As you see, Rewind not only wrote it like ChatGPT would, but it also considered all my personal context, such as what I'm doing and what I likely would want to talk about in an interview with Elon Musk. Now, if you ask me, this type of Rewind generated content is probably better than what many personal assistants could do. Another thing where Rewind AI is really great at is capturing meeting notes. In one of my earlier videos, I introduced to you Fireflies AI, which is a software dedicated specifically to capturing meeting notes. And it's true that Fireflies AI has more functionality and features in that area than Rewind. But what's great about Rewind is that it runs for any meeting software because it's just in the background and doesn't need a specific permission. It also means that you will never forget to turn it on at the start of a meeting because it's just always on already. 
Rewind is currently available on Apple computer and iPhone with a Windows version soon to come. If you want the full functionality with everything that I just showed you, you will need to go with the Mac version for now and the PC version will likely have something very similar as soon as it's out. When it comes to the iPhone, the operating system has some limitations, which means that Rewind can only capture your activities in the Safari browser and also screenshots. So if you want to feed the AI with information, either you need to just work with what's in the internet or every time you see something the AI should know, you will need to take a screenshot. You should also know that all the files are stored locally and also processed locally, which means that the iPhone and the Mac will not be able to connect if you use both of them. Like many other AI tools, Rewind AI comes with a free version and then a premium version with a monthly cost of $29. You can also get the premium version one month for free. Now in my opinion, Rewind AI is really impressive. And if I was still working in consulting and I had Rewind installed on my computer, I would definitely use it every day. However, there are two main problems. The first one is that it's currently only available on Apple computer and iPhone. And the second one is related to data privacy. Now Rewind AI says that they store all the files only locally and that's probably even true. But still, you need to trust this organization because in the end they will have access to all your information. So if you're actually dealing with confidential data, I would recommend you to not use Rewind at this moment. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.